if you're looking to go from this to this, stay tuned. All right, so when 90% of people try to edit, they try to edit fast, and that's great, that's good, but you also have to take into account that you have to be consistent while editing. And I've even had this problem before where I just tried to go straight to editing fast instead of worrying about if I'm consistent or not. And that just completely messed me up because I would always either mess up on an edit, miss an edit, or just didn't fully confirm one. So you have to make sure that you have consistency. Let me show you guys what I mean. All right, so obviously I can come right here, do some edits. They look pretty fast, look pretty quick and all that. But I guarantee you guys, if I would have kept going, probably on the fourth one, I would have messed up. And, and fast is always good, but you have to be consistent. Too. Even for me, I still have to be consistent. So what I would do as an alternative, I would do the exact same thing, but I would do it like maybe 75% speed. So I can have time to process what I'm doing without just, you know, moving my fingers and just focusing on the edits and how fast they are. I can also be consistent while doing it. Let me show you that. So just doing the exact same thing, but just slowing down a little. Let me show you. Now, if you're missing your shots like I am in this clip, I got a solution for you. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of box fights, but I did come across this map about a week ago, and I've been playing it ever since, and it has improved my aim a lot. You know, I like these close corner fights, and with box fights, you can really find that. So, I mean, in this lobby, I was straight just destroying everybody, hitting 200s, and it's actually really fun, too. I mean, besides all the roaches and stuff, we'd be camping behind walls and stuff waiting for a, you know, a kill. This map actually did help me a lot. I'll leave the map code up on the screen now. Damn, but you're so bad. Oh, why are you so mad, bro? I dare you. you do, don't eat it. I know you would not be surprised to get in this way. Take on him. Take Take, 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 take. Hold up. X group, bro. When playing, especially when building, you should always know where your opponent is. So when I come in here and do this 1v1, when I do my startup, after I hit that second 90, I know exactly where my opponent is. I take a peek, see either if he's above me, still below me, or level with me, and that would determine my decisions that I have to make so let's give an example if he has high ground or if he did his 90s faster than me. But in this type of situation, you have to play really smart. But basically what I'll do is I'll do some unnecessary builds. But before that, I'll take a little peek, see where he's at, you know, edit the cone like this. Then I'll come around and I'll do something more like this. Come right here, edit like this, get another peek. If he's still right there, I'll come right here, maybe do a fake little edit, come right here. You know, just stuff that would throw your opponent off. But one of the best things I like to do is really simple and it throws your opponent off a lot. So basically what you want to do is you want to come right here, place a cone. You want to do a little side jump. Make sure you have all three of these walls placed like this and make sure you always have a floor above you so you won't get hit in the process. Place a cone right here, a ramp right here, triple edit. And then usually that throws your opponent off because what they're thinking you're doing is going for a little side jump. They're going to think that you're going to go that way, but no, you're going to hit a little reverse on them. Usually by using this, you can get a good jump shot off. I'm gonna show you guys how it looks in fast motion. What I like to do when I'm going up against a random opponent is I like to study their gameplay and I like to study how they play so I can use it against them when we run it back. I mean, you can use this in ranked, you can use this in box fights, you can use this in, I don't know, zone wars, 1v1s, PGs, anything you play, always study your opponent's gameplay so you can use it against them. I'm gonna show you guys an example by loading into a random 1v1 and 1v1ing a random kid, and I'm gonna read what he does so I can use it against him. We are loading into a game. Gotta hit a little free build before. But show, already. Random kid I've never met in my life. Random kid I've never seen in my life. I have no clue what his playstyle is, but I'm gonna figure it out and I'm gonna use it against him. Let's get this 1v1 on the road. You know, doing the classic 90s. Testing him a little bit. Seeing if he'll fall for bait. 
Nice. Nice. Let's read him a little bit more. See what he's doing. Retakes really aren't that good. He's a mantler. That's something you really gotta watch out for. A lot of people be mantling nowadays. Caught him slipping. So this kid's really not that aware. Oh, he's definitely a 50 50 -er. Yeah. I don't know how my shot hit for 50 there. All right, but I could tell that this kid's, he's an aggressive player, but he kind of like, all right. See, look, he learned from me by not getting that shot off right there. Good, good. Let's see if he takes it. He's gonna play this a little bit smarter. He's definitely not the worst player. Pretty smart player. Taking his time, trying to get some good angles. I could see. But he's a little bit open. And that's what I'm gonna use against him. Cause now, and I just got 200. So now I know that he's open, that he's really not that protective, but he, he knows how to play. He knows how to play. So if I get in his face, he's going to 200 tap me. So I'm going to play for angles. And I'm going to play a little bit higher. I'm not, I'm not just going to push straight into his box. Because I'm not going to let that 200 happen again. All right. So watch this. Look at that. As you can see, I went for that angle. Got the 185. So all it is is just studying your opponent's gameplay. And just using it against them. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys want more videos like this, make sure to like and sub. I'll catch you guys.